All right, good morning. Um, a little transition this morning. Hadn't had this transition since we've started YouTube anyway. Uh, but this is the first morning that we are, uh, are not milking uh, Elsa. All right, just a little update. As I said before, we actually uh, have stopped milking Elsa uh, for two reasons. Um, first and foremost, um, when you're with your cow, pretty much, you know, day in and day out, you, you kind of know her, you learn her personality, you learn what cow's moody, you learn what cow is sweet, you learn what cow's, you know, uh, if something's wrong with them, if they're lethargic, they're acting crazy, see Allie wanted to be filmed, I guess, today. But what we realized last, and I don't know if you keep up with us on Facebook or Instagram, but what we've been talking about on some forums is Elsa's just been had labor labored breathing for the last few probably the last few well probably the last few days about a week week and a half um, we've tried everything we've tried from upping her minerals giving her 24 access 24 hour access to uh, uh, just a little bit higher quality hay other than just her grass uh, been giving her a lot more alfalfa and it's really doing all we could to kind of help balance herself out um, with heavier vitamins and minerals However, she seemed to be doing okay, but never just really getting better. Not getting really worse, but not getting better. So, we, we consulted a vet, a guy who just knows everything about cows, and somebody that we, we trust, and just said, you know, hey, look, what, where are we at? Uh, we think she's got some kind of little respiratory issue going on, but we don't want it to get worse or cause some issues with pneumonia or cause some issues with, you know, just, just anything to cause damage to her. So, uh, he came and checked her. Uh, just what we thought is just... She's having some respiratory issues, and, and we don't know if it's from just, he's thinking maybe just from the dryness of this area. We've not had a lot of rain. Uh, she got on a real lush patch of grass this last uh, intense grazing plan, so she may have ate too quick and caused the water to build up. Uh, you know, we don't know. Um, but the bottom line is she just had a little respiratory issue. Now, he said that we can keep doing what we're doing, um, but he advised that we probably just need to stop milking and dry her own up. She's not supposed to be dried up till, um, around November 10th or so. Uh, remember, when you're having a lactating Jersey cow and she's pregnant, you can milk up to about 60 to 75 days prior to her calving. Um, her body needs to build back up and get ready for the new calf. Um, so just remember that. But um, this is about 95 to 100 days prior to her calving. So we just hate to do that, but at the same time, because he was gonna have to give her an antibiotic, which you know we, we don't medicate our cows, but in this case, for her safety, we're gonna to have to. So we went on and gave her a shot. Um, just one day removed from that, she's doing great. Um, you could tell just a world of a difference just in a day. So I'm very pleased with that. But you know, we, we hated not to milk, but he said, you know, here you go. If you, if you do milk, you've got 14 days of antibiotics probably in her system. Well, that means we're dumping for two weeks, which is not a big issue. However, that two weeks would put us about 10 days from her normally, you know, stopping milking anyway because of her calving and getting so close to that so we just me and misty thought about it we just decided that um for her health let's go ahead and, and cut her off milking that would give her another two weeks with this antibiotic in her to not have to worry about pushing extra minerals pushing extra vitamins out to us for us to throw away milk to you know the hogs or to the chickens because we were not going to eat it with it being antibiotics since we do drink raw milk so uh, made a hard decision, a bittersweet decision to uh, quit milking. Now, I, I hate not milking. Uh, it's kind of a first time since we started YouTube of not milking. But we do know that it's for the best uh, sake of her health. Now, the way we look at it is this. Instant uh, sustainability is, you know, we keep milking and pour it out um, and then have milk for about another two to three weeks after she's after the antibody. The bad thing about that though is we know that would cause her a little bit more of a slower pace to get better and the cow is more important than the milk right now because the cow is going to bring us a bigger asset for years to come with a new a new heifer calf or bull calf or and of course milk for the next few years so it we would we took the the stance of saying for long-term sustainability and better health quality for our cow let's get her well now and then we will continue milking her when she calves again so she's calving again supposed to calve again around january december january uh, kind of the New Year's, uh, which is not what we wanted, but at the same time, because we got her at a certain time, we want to go ahead and get her 
bread and that's just it is what it is we didn't want to win our calf but it is what it is uh now good news is Allie, you know we've been stanching training uh while the vet was here he kind of just looked at her and he said you know she's probably closer than you think uh that that's a good and bad thing she's doing better on stanchion training but like today or yesterday excuse me she went crazy in the stanchion so it was not a good day so we're going to try to we're not going to hobble her but we are going to have some cinch straps and ropes and we'll have a video on how we were trying to break her more um i'm trying to get it done and trying to make sure she is uh ready to milk i'm hoping when she has this calf it helps her kind of simmer down a little bit uh plan going forward from here is we're going to take elsa Put her with the meat cows on the other side and keep Allie by herself. Um, now, as you know, we have two pretty good trips coming up dealing with Homestead. Um, we have HOA coming up October 10th, 11th area. We're going to Virginia. So we have a farm sitter that was supposedly going to milk Elsa. Now, since Elsa's not milking, uh, I'm hoping that Allie won't calf before the end because then if I have to have a difficult cow with a farm sitter, uh, that kind of worries me. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. So we're just hoping now that that Allie may can hold out till past you know the 13th or 14th of October which she's supposed to 15th to the 31st is when she's supposed to calf and now secondly um, we are going on a trip in November to um, the mountains Smoky Mountains and then also to we're gonna cut over to Frankfort Kentucky to uh, the Stivers homestead gathering so uh, we're, we're still kind of figuring out what we're gonna do there because at that point we probably are gonna have a new calf and a new milker with Allie so we've got a lot of things to think about Allie and trying to figure out making sure we can break her and have her ready for a new farm sitter to come in uh, and you know I can deal with her because I've been dealing with her and she's stubborn compared to Elsa but with a new farm sitter that's a that's a task that we got to figure out too so um, just watch the health of your cows it's hot outside especially in the deep south and you know we hated to cut her milking off but we know it's for the betterment of her health so just a small video today give you a little update kind of tell you where we're at with Elsa uh, not where we wanted it to be, but at the same time, at least we know she's healthy and will provide sustainability for years to come versus instant milk now. So, uh, thank you for watching today. It's just a small little video, ain't much to it, but uh, thank you for watching and we hope that you subscribe. We hope that you enjoyed our channel. And uh, again, hopefully, uh, you have a great day. God bless. Happy homestead, y'all.